Welcome back to my favorite cup. I am Jeff Sterling and I am taking you to Jamaica. Now this is the birthplace of a brand new brew that is quickly becoming recognized as one of the world's finest. Now we recently spoke with coffee plantation owner, Rohan Marley. On the island of Jamaica, a son of one of its greatest legends is leading a quiet revolution. A revolution that is changing the way business is done and harvesting one of the world's most important commodities, coffee. Leading the charge is Rohan Marley, son of Bob Marley. Rohan and his business partner, Shane Whittle, founded Marley Coffee with the idea of building a company that protected the environment by growing their beans organically. I recently had a chance to talk with these coffee entrepreneurs about their company, its products, and how they plan to grow this movement and the company behind it. Hi, I'm Mindy Rosario. We're here about Marley Coffee today, and we're with... Rohan Marley. And... Shane Whittle. So, yes. tell us about Marley Coffee. <laughs> yes. Uh, Marley Coffee is a company um, we started together, myself and Shane. We started about um, three and a half years ago. We formulated this company out of Los Angeles, and we've been operating um, ever since. And it took us about a good three, three years, three good years, to develop the product and the website, etc. So tell us about the farm in Jamaica. It's all family owned, correct? Yes, the farm, the farm in Jamaica, we purchased the farm about 10 years ago. And I've been operating the farm, mainly selling the, um, the coffee, the cherries, to the, um, the Jamaican Coffee Board. Because, you know, you have to reach a certain limit in order to be able to even distribute the beans yourself. You have to have certain qualifications. So I, I, wasn't, I didn't have the qualification at the time. So in order to keep, meet men's, I would, so the cherries wouldn't spoil, <laughs> I would sell the cherries to the Coffee Board. And so years on years, for about seven years, we would sell our little boxes to the coffee board at a little depot. In each community, you go and if there's a little depot, and you, you take the cherries with the farmers and we go to the depot and we sell our coffee there. So you couldn't take the beans out of the cherries? It had to be the cherries? Well, the, um, the coffee board, they buy the cherries, them, they buy the cherry at that state. So they, they have their own processing system, the way they do things. They have their own system. But when you become um, f efficient enough that you can produce the amount of um, boxes, you know, like 6,000, when you can produce 6,000 boxes, then you can gain the license where you can do it yourself, the, your own processing, because, you know, the Blue Mountain Coffee, there's a lot of restrictions on how to do things and what to do it because, because it's, so, it's so special, the flavor, so, there's a lot of there's a lot of things there's a lot of guidelines you have to procedures you have to follow. So it takes seven years to be able to produce that much. Well, no. Or is that it took seven years. <laughs> it took seven years to meet Shane. Oh, <laughs> Shane! We knew you were good. Yeah, and I come in the mix. Yeah. You and did? all your coffee is mm -hmm. organic, correct? Absolutely. Has it always been organic through the very beginning? When no. You, okay. When did you change? When, so let me tell you why we how we became organic. Well, 10 years ago, a brethren approached me about this farm, you know? And he said, Rohan, there's this beautiful river on this property, and I want you to take a look at it. So I said to him, sure, let's do the deal. And we did the deal now, one thing. And I said, so what's on the land? He said, coffee. I said, coffee? <laughs> so I said, all right, let's get into coffee. So then I turned to one of the farmers that worked on the land. And I said, you know, I don't know nothing about coffee, man. But one thing I do know, you won't be using any chemical on my property. And he said, Mr. Marley, it won't work. Oh, really? They didn't think it would work? No, he said, Mr. Marley, it won't work. I said, all right, let me tell you something. This is, what, this is what's not going to work. If you use any chemical on the land, I'll cut every coffee tree down. So we will have no coffee. We will just have the land. And then I'll just let the trees then bush up and grow. Because I'm not going to be responsible for you having cancer later on in life just because I wanted you to take care of my property. Well, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, and then again, and furthermore, you won't have a job. Furthermore, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. So you say, you know what, Mr. Marley, we're going to do it your way. We're going to give it a try. We're going we're gonna to give it a try. When you're here, does your family run the farm? 
while we're away, you know, the telephone is how I operate the place by speaking on the phone via internet to, to what we can, you know. We have eight full-time farmers that work on the property. Um, and then working with some local people in Kingston to help us get our operations up and uh, established in Jamaica. So just to break down, our, our farm is in the Blue Mountains of Jamaica. So we've been going through the process with the organic board to be Blue Mountain certified for the past two years. And hopefully that uh, will happen any day now. Um, so that's our, that's our legacy brand. That's, that's why we started. We started with the farm. So basically for the past two years, we spent uh, time traveling around the world trying to source some other great coffees that are around the, around the world that are also a little bit affordable to the public because Blue Mountain is one of the most uh, expensive and hardest to get in on the planet wow. <laughs> you know yeah. the average retail in the US is about $50 a pound Wow! so the average consumer who drinks coffee you know usually probably can't afford that so you know there's other coffees basically we source coffees that have very strong synergies with Jamaica such as Ethiopia and Rastafari and, and his family's history and their relation with the country and, and the birthplace of coffee and the birthplace of coffee of course um, you know, and we spent a, a good six months tasting and testing our blends and our, our single varietals to uh, what we think is a great coffee line. You know, it's a, a really certified good organic coffee, coffee, it's, coffee it's line. Amazing. You know, the key we wanted is to create a very smooth coffee. You know, sort of hold back from the very acidic coffees that are strong in your stomach, where you can have our espresso and sip it, and you really don't need to add sugar or milk or anything like that. You know, you can just take That's it down, and it's great. I think you succeeded. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> that's, that's really we're, we're happy with it. You know, and of course, we named all our coffees after, uh, in, in relation to uh, Bob Marley songs, like One Love, Jam and Java, our Simmer Down Espresso, okay. uh, lively our up. Lively Up, or so, sorry, Simmer, Simmer Down, down. And, uh, Decaf <laughs> and Lively Up Espresso, and our Mystic Morning is sort of our light roasted uh, wake up coffee. So okay. basically, where you can find our coffee, the easiest way for me to tell, because we are, um, building our locations, we're, we're in quite a few now, is to go to marleycoffee.com and look under where to buy, and that will tell you where to buy it uh, worldwide. Okay, Shane, what is your favorite Marley coffee? I think I love uh, our Mystic Morning. Why? I love all of them, obviously. <laughs> okay. I drink them probably 10 times a day. Um, it's, it's sort of a lighter roast, but it's a good uh, kick in the butt for the morning, and it's easy on the stomach. I like a strong coffee that wakes me up. Your turn. <laughs> What's your favorite coffee? What's my favorite coffee? Uh -huh. All right. First of all, the coffee—they're like my children. <laughs> so, for you to ask me which one of my child I prefer, I have no preference. Like them all. You like certain yeah. morning, you know. Let me tell you how it is. Certain morning. You I know. do too, except for the, the simmer down decaf <laughs> because there's there's no caffeine in it. So. <laughs> and thanks again. Thank you so no much. Thanks Bless very much. Love. That's the part.